I'm Jack Ross, former professional football player, um, current football manager and coach. There's lots of advice you can impart, and there's lots of advice that will be given to aspiring young footballers, but I think quite simply is to be the best person of yourself every day. Um, certainly the players that I've worked with who are aiming to progress through difficult profession, um, very difficult to reach the top level of it. As they always have a choice every day they walk through the doors of a training ground is to be that best version of themselves and, and that applies upon uh, across all aspects of what they do. Um, their attitude, their work rate, their desire, um, how much they apply themselves as a 24-7 athlete. So yeah, that last point probably summarises it quite well as well. Best version of yourself every day and being a 24-7 athlete in order to give yourself the best chance of success. Um, I think for a long time, yeah, particularly when I was, was growing up and pursuing a, um, a career in professional football, education and sport were seen as being mutually exclu exclusive. Um, I think there is a growing awareness or much more awareness around the fact that um, it's important to be prepared for life outside sport whenever that comes around. But equally, um, the benefits of education can help you develop as a sports person as well. Um, certainly something that I probably didn't realise at the time, but when I reflect back sorry, upon my own career pathway, I think some of the experiences I had within further education made me more well-rounded um, as a professional athlete. You know, I had went down the, the very linear and idealistic pathway, becoming a professional footballer, leaving school and continuing that journey. And that came to quite an abrupt halt when I was released from the professional club I was at at the time. was able to go to university because I had enough qualifications from, from my school days. That four years of university did teach me was an enormous amount of self-discipline and resilience and work rate to enable to get through a degree. While also being able to balance that with continuing to try and be a professional football player. At that point of studying from a degree I was playing initially junior football and then part-time football um, and making the sacrifices and commitment to be able to train not only within your team environment but to train on your own um, alongside your studies as to give yourself the best chance of going back to, to the top level of your sport as well. The most young players in the UK will aspire to have that linear pathway as I talked on earlier, that everything goes really smooth for them and they achieve their dreams to be a professional player. However, one of the best alternatives out with that is if you can continue your education and achieve further education alongside being given the best possible chance. So my own career pathway, I had to make that myself. There wasn't as clear a pathway as going to be involved in college sport in the United States. So I think for me now, when I was back then 18 years old when it happened to me, would it have been a brilliant opportunity for me to try and pursue absolutely because it would have fulfilled um, that further education alongside playing sport every single day and still still harbour on that ambition obviously taking that career further as well. And there's absolutely no doubt that my pathway through further education when I was younger helped me enormously when I decided to pursue a career in coaching and management. I think that to be a successful coach and manager now, communication is hugely important and the ability to communicate in different ways. Um, I think in order to secure yourself opportunities within coaching and management, you have to be able to present um, to executive level. My university degree taught me at an early age the ability to, to present publicly, to speak in front of people, to put these presentations together, to compile essays, to compile dissertations and just all round develop communication skills that I think had I not been involved in university life for those four years I, I would have had to find another way to develop and I think there is a growing awareness amongst coaches and managers now of the need to develop these skills um, but certainly for me it was um, hugely beneficial when I decided to, to venture into coaching and management. Best achievement as a player was um, simply returning to the professional level and playing in the Premier League again, having been released as a teenager. I think as, in, as a manager, winning any game at any point is, is an achievement, but from a personal point of view, winning manager of the year, I think 2017-18, up against guys like Brendan Rodgers, Steve Clark, Neil Lennon, um, to win the award. So that is one that, that I look back on fondly. Diego Maradona. Um, player I most of my now, I'm going to go for quite a left field one and a very young man in, uh, in Arm Hickey, simply because it is rare for a Scottish teenager to, um, to take himself to another European country and make the impact he has done in one of the top five European leagues.
Brendan Rodgers was a big influence on me when I first started to manage. Um, gave me a lot of his time, was able to watch him work at, at close quarters and gave me affirmation that I was going down the right pathway as a manager. The favourite stadium I've managed in has been Wembley. I, I was I was going to say fortunate enough to manage there twice, but I lost both matches. But in terms of just an arena to take charge of a football match, iconic uh, and an incredible stadium that, that generated an unbelievable atmosphere as well. Yes. That's the thing about managing and coaching, and whenever you get the opportunity to work with a player every single day, you, it can change your perception of them dramatically. Um, it's only then you get a real feel for them. So, a couple of examples: Aidan McGeady, unbelievably talented footballer, when you work with him every day, outrageous ability. Um, I said a top career for a very good reason. Martin Boyle didn't quite appreciate how good he was and how quick he was until we worked with him every day. So I think there's a multitude of players that I've worked with who um, I maybe have, I'm not saying underappreciated just how good they are, but I've only really, truly understood how talented players they are when I've worked with them every day. They need to be somewhere warm and sunny, um, so I'll go Tampa. Songwriter. Good, I can see that one coming. Anything good answer, nice. eh? Songwriters make some amount of money. Yeah. Get yourself, isn't it? No, <laughs> can't sing. <laughs>